Hey everybody, welcome back to Kuma Sour Reviews. It's TJ, and what I've got here is, well, it's Revenge of the Fallen Voyager Bludgeon, but it's got the Perfect Effect PA02 Samurai Kit attached to it. So, I'm going to go ahead and link probably right around here where my finger's pointing um, to the assembly video so you guys know how to put this upgrade kit on these figures in terms of robot mode and alt mode these are just gonna review and take a look at how they improve All right. so you can see the big cannons added the front of the regular cannon on the head of the tank is replaced it also has storage there for the smaller rifle that comes with it. And there's also inside of there, as you will have seen in the assembly video, a smaller knife that comes with it as well. But big improvement on the tank mode. It definitely works the best for the super tanks kit. They're all the same in terms of the weapons and stuff, but the super tank kit goes with the GDO, Voyager Megatron, and it really gives him that G2 Megatron look because that big cannon and things like that are a part of him. But there you go. Take a look how that looks. And these weapons, um, the big cannon is not. It's actually a plastic, but the sword is actually die cast. So, and there is some playability here with the cannon. It turns around and stuff like that, but this piece that actually extends it up. It's not necessarily flimsy, but it kind of gives me that scary feeling, so I just lean it over to the side and let the bottom of the gun actually rest on the head of the tank there. All right, there you have it. There's the alt mode. All right, so now we're just taking a look at the robot mode here. Like we went over in the assembly video, there's definitely a couple of options with faces. You have both his beginning helmet and his resurrected, more samurai styled helmet. Each of these faces turns around into another face. One's black, one's white. We'll zoom in there real quick. Those are the two different faces. The only difference is one's white, one's silver. They both turn around and reveal the other face. So this one also has a more traditional skeleton face and vice versa on the back this one has the more cyborg face so to go ahead and do that we'll just take the front off of this one and they just slide out they go in pretty pretty firm okay. but I don't have long fingernails as you can see and I still wedged it out but if you want to turn that around cool I'm not going to turn it around though because I like the more skeletal face better. Which surprised me because in all the pictures and stuff like that I'd seen leading up to this, I really like the cyborg face better. But in hand, the skeleton face is just sick. It's pretty awesome. So okay, I'm going to go ahead and for the rest of this video then, use the samurai helmet. They just pop on. Okay, so there we go. Alright, big shoulder cannons already on here. Oh, can't rub some. Okay. We've got the bigger knife. We've got the smaller knife. One thing I don't think I went over in the other video, the bigger knife and the smaller knife, if you'd like, you can actually combine them to have a blade on top. Top and bottom. Okay. I'm sure that's an official weapon of some sort. I don't know the name, so I'm not going to guess. Alright, but there's that. And of course, he also has the traditional rifle. Like we went over in the assembly video, and I know I've referenced that a lot, but it tells you how to put it all together. You know, it's not long. Please watch it. It's like 15 minutes. But okay, the last part, the piece that pegs the rifle on the back in all mode, just tabs in between his legs right there, making it a spacer. But there we go. The cannon's still poseable and stuff, but see what I mean? It's just not, not the most stable. So I just wedge it back. 
and there we go. Okay. And I like that the head robots kit came with different armor and stuff like that, but this manages to make it look like a completely different robot without even doing any body mods and stuff like that. Just some cool weapons and a head. And I do like the aesthetic of Perfect Effect in general, that Japanese animation style. It's really cool. So, okay, there's that. Now, another thing. If you do want to extend the cannon out, you see I just flip the handle out there. Now, of course, with these swords, you can go ahead and store them back in the main cannon and the backpack, but I'm not going to do that right this second. So, we're just pegging that in, and there we go. Now he's got the ability to hold it a bit better. Balance it out more. But now that he's holding it, and you do have some posability room in there too, so. I like that he has the double jointed elbow. Because now he's just, you know, ramble style. I like it a lot. And we'll post that more out. Well, actually. Get the gun put down. We'll zoom in here. And there you go. That is Revenge of the Fallen Bludgeon with the perfect effect PAO2 samurai weapon set and I think it's awesome a lot of uh, North American retailers are selling this um, you can also get them at Robot Kingdom no matter what since overseas has a cheaper price plus shipping versus a higher price plus less shipping here you're gonna pay around I'd say probably thirty forty dollars a piece for these when it comes to shipping included or whatever so but yeah I, I'd say it's worth it especially if you already have these figures I saw the advertisements for this last year, it was like mid-2013, and I bought a Voyager Bludgeon figure for like 12 bucks on eBay, and literally had it sitting in the box until these arrived uh, for me to review the other day. The other day, it was this morning, never mind, today. And before I go, this is the one box that has fiction on it. So just to take a quick look at that. All right. Just a quick summary to the continuation of the Motobot RC comic. Um, after the fight with the Motobot, I was defeated. But somehow my fate uh, didn't think so and someone saved me. And now this is cool. You can see here it's got mysterious wing character in the back. I was talking to some people on TFW 2005 and one member mentioned that he thinks it might be Thunderwing and considering their quality on Warden that would be insane and amazing and all that good stuff. Alright? And now I'm ready for my revenge. And you can see he goes from his one helmet to the more samurai style upon resurrection. So, there you go. There's fiction that's included with the box. There is the figure. And thank you guys again for watching this review. Let me know what you think of this figure. If you're going to get it, if you have it, what do you think of it? Are there any tricks and stuff like that you've learned? One thing I want to see, in robot mode, there's no storage for the um, hand rifle there. So if anybody is creative enough to figure out a way to store that in robot mode, awesome, because I love me some weapon storage. But anyway, thanks again for watching, and see you next review.